everyone, I'm Crystal with Black Dog School of Yoga. So today we're gonna talk about the pelvis and the hips. So if you're experiencing pain or aches or tension anywhere else in the body, more than likely the hips and the pelvis is the culprit. The pelvis is the first major fold of the body. So if you think about, if you're about to make like an origami cup, you would fold the piece of paper in half and then you would take all your other folds. Now, if that half fold is messy, all the other ones will follow suit. So if you're feeling tension in your neck or wrists or something like that, oftentimes if you just reorganize your pelvis, those things will reconcile. So this is a really quick hip reset sequence. It's not like the end all, it's not gonna heal all of your problems. But for me, um, I experience a lot of foot pain on my left side. And if I just kind of work through this for a few minutes in my pelvis, it usually alleviates the tension in my foot. Okay, so you don't need any props, which is the best part. Maybe just a yoga mat, even just the floor would be fine too. So go ahead and lay down on your back. And just lay with your legs long and your arms long to start. And I want you just to get clear about how you're laying on the floor. So if you feel one shoulder is pressing into the floor more so than the other, if one sitting bone is more so than the other, and just get a sense, do you tilt to one side? Do you favor one side? How does the tension, the thing that's always nagging at you feel just by laying on the floor? I do recommend being on a harder surface. You could totally do this on the carpet, but being on a hard surface will give you much more feedback. And then let's just take three more breaths here before we begin. So from here, you're going to bend your knees, set your feet on the floor, and then bring your right foot like you're going to come into half happy baby, grab the knife edge of your foot. And so this left leg will be your anchor point. So you don't want this knee to kind of bob around and you want, don't want to roll onto the knife edge. Really find your big toe, inner heel, pinky toe, outer heel side of the foot. And then the key is getting the armpit into the knee and the knee into the armpit. So I like to take this left hand crunch up and pull the knee in towards the armpit so you get a really good fit here until you get that fit that ensures the pelvis is in correct position so if you're like way out here and your knees like off to the side that's not a correct fit so knee into the armpit ensures that i'm in the correct placement of the pelvis which is starting to reset everything and then try to lay it back down again i understand that this is challenging in itself but that's why it's called a pelvis reset. <laughs> so really try to find the whole sole of your left foot on the floor. You can keep a hold of your leg just like this if that's helpful. And then take a couple breaths there. If you're tilting to one side or another, see if you can mediate the tilt so you're not going one side more so. You're just finding yourself more in the middle, right in the center of your spine. And then let's just take a couple breaths here. If it's super tight, your hip flexors might feel like they're getting a little heated. And then from here, you're gonna take your left hand to the foot and your right hand to the knee. This rotation happens from your hips, you guys, and not from the knee. So if I'm just moving the knee, this is not gonna feel great. Move from the hip and rotate your shin so that it becomes more horizontal. Now your foot might be higher than your knee for now, totally fine, just work with what you got. But again, try to get the rotation happening from here because the femur rotates in the hip socket and trying to get the knee in line with the ankle. And again, that might be your work today and keep this leg stable so you're not flopping over to the side. So if you had like a, a bow and you were using an anchor and you dropped the anchor to the ocean floor or the bottom of the lake, you would want it to hold your boat steady. You don't want it to be floating all around. So it's the same metaphor here with the left foot. Okay, this is where it starts to get pretty tricky. So if your leg is really far away from you, then I would recommend taking your hands like this and hooking your wrists behind the shin and starting to pull the leg towards you any amount. 
or you can start to inch up towards your elbow. And if you're like, well, that's nice, it doesn't reach, curl up into a tight ball, hook the elbow, and then take your right arm behind your head. There's many baby steps. Again, this is totally fine, like the double forklift action, or you go all the way into the hook here, okay? Then, if you're turned to the right, which most of us kind of land that way, turn the tip of your nose towards the ceiling and lean your head back like you're laying down on a pillow. Reach your right sitting bone towards your left heel so that it doesn't hike up to the side like this. Reach it down towards your left heel as you lay back. I'm pressing down pretty firmly into my left big toe and heel, otherwise the leg would just like flop out like this. And that's not doing anything for the pelvis. Good. Crazy intense, but you guys are doing great. Stick with me. Couple more breaths. Good, and then slowly release. Take your left hand, grab the knife edge of your foot, pull the knee in towards your armpit, and then you're gonna extend the leg out to a diagonal over to the left. I like to turn the sole of my foot towards the ceiling because it just gives me much more um, sensation down the lateral leg, but you do what you can do. So you either face the foot to the side or you turn the ankle sole of the foot towards the ceiling. Couple times just like that. And I don't want you to go to all the way straight if that's your available range. Keep it at least like 90% or less. We're not going to completely straight leg. And then the last thing on this side is you'll just take a hop of your hips over the right and work yourself into a supine twist. You can keep the right leg bent or leg straight. You can keep a hold of it or you can even grab your knee and twist like so. That hopefully should feel pretty good after that really intense hip reset. Nice, and then come back to the center. And I'm just gonna flip sides so that you can see my left leg. Go ahead and stay on your back. Bend your knees and then take your left leg into half happy baby. So if you're like here, just barely hanging on, your goal is knee into armpit, however you need to make that happen. So curl up into a tight ball, grab the back of your knee, pull the heel in towards the armpit. So you might just be remaining here. The fits are really important, you guys, so that we can get the pelvis into the right, um, into the right shape, into the right alignment there. And then if you can, go ahead and lay back. You can also prop your head onto like a blanket or a pillow if it's nowhere near the floor, that's totally fine. And again, this anchor leg doesn't get to bob around. Big toe inner heel, pinky toe outer heel. And on this side, man, I feel my shoulder. My shoulder is just like, ah, it's been a little out of place. So. I'm not really doing much with my shoulder, it's about the pelvis, but like I said, everything else reconciles because the tension and the pulling is often underpinned by your hips. And then from here, grab your foot with your right hand and the knee rotate from your hip, not from your knee. Open it up like this. Good. And your foot might be higher than your knee, that's totally fine, eventually you're working towards ankle in line with the knee, so the knee kind of presses away a, a little bit, but again, the efforting in the rotation is happening in this outer right butt. You can stay here, you can just simply hook like the wrist, or you can move all the way through to the elbow, crunch up into a nice tight ball, and then take your left hand behind you, interlock the fingers, so again, you can start to see that I'm turned to the left, like the tip of my nose. So I'm gonna turn it straight up towards the ceiling and then lean back. So I want the tip of my nose in line with my sternum and I'm gonna reach my outer left hip towards my right heel as I lay back. Right big toe firmly presses. So I have to focus and remind myself, ah, that anchor point has to be anchoring the body. Couple deep breaths here. Try to move your chin a little bit away from your chest so it's not tucked, but it's also not lifting. You're not trying to look up and behind you either. 
So let's slowly release, and then you'll take your right hand to the knife edge. Start with the knee pulling in towards the armpit, and then extend the leg to the right at a diagonal. Watch that this knee doesn't fall open, because that's your anchor. And then flip either the sole of the foot towards the ceiling, or you can just point it towards the wall. Whatever works for you. And then just a couple of those in and out, like so. Good. One more time. Nice. And then release the foot. Draw both knees into your chest and cup your hands over your knees and let your head, your um, feet just hang in your hands. So your arms are the things that are going to be the driver here. And then you're just going to stir your legs around. Stir your legs around your pelvis. You can kind of see my legs are sort of flopping about. My feet are moving around kind of unevenly. No problem. Just let your hands move the knees. Nice. Okay, and then that's it, you're done. So really quick way to reset the pelvis, you guys, and see how that makes the rest of your body feel. Don't forget to just take a quick moment to like this video and subscribe for more. We'll see you guys again soon.